Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, I'm gonna go quickly over some results from the International Masters Sunfish Championship being held at Clearwater Yacht Club and being sailed out of the Clearwater Community Sailing Center. Today was the first day of the three-day regatta, which hosts masters, grandmasters, apprentice masters, and great grandmasters. And what that means is you have to be a sunfish sailor above 40 years old. There was a really heavy winds today and Emily Wagner has been reporting from Facebook on Facebook Live. So go check them on Facebook. I'm gonna head down to Florida in a couple of days and I'll be reporting also from this channel and also Facebook Live. Sailing out of Clearwater has shown a little bit of crazy winds yesterday and they were having rollers coming in. But today was a little bit better, however, so several sailors decided not to sail because the conditions were just a little bit too much and at least one person that I've seen came up with this. Yes, that's the infamous broken mast at the cleat that's screwed in and I'll have a picture of it after I edit this video. I'm going to go over some of the situations that have occurred today and some of the results that have occurred today after day one and there's going to be three days of racing total, so there's two more days, plenty of racing left. They sail three races, and the schedule allows them to sail 11 races total. So there's plenty of racing to go. There could be a lot of lead changes, and because it's the Masters, you have the Apprentice Masters, the Masters, the Grandmasters, and the Great Grandmasters. So there's a lot of jockeying in between the regattas within the regatta. So if you want up-to-date information, every day they're going to be posting the information on regattanetwork.com and you could go down through the calendar, scroll down and watch for the International Sunfish Master Championship. And later on in the week, there's also going to be the Sunfish Masters Championship, which is open to all sunfish sailors. Before I get to some of the results, I would like you to please smash that like button. And if you haven't all yet ready, please subscribe to the channel. And it really helps the channel out a lot if you smash that like button, because one thing is it tells me that you're interested in subjects like this. Also, when I come down to Florida in the next couple of days, I'm gonna get content that I'm gonna try to focus just for you, the viewer. So if you leave any comments down below, I'll read those and I'm going to try to answer those comments almost immediately. So leave some comments down below, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and so I made a mistake before and I said there were 64 sailors registered and that number I undershot. It's actually 69 sailors that are registered. And to give you some idea of what the conditions are, there's some really good sailors that decided not to go out. For instance, one of the top sailors in the world, Joe Bluen, decided not to sail. And also Ron McHenry, who is a great sailor, is kind of in the middle of the fleet, but he is the top great grandmaster. You also have really good sailors like Luis Oliveira from Gulfstream Sailing Association from the East Coast and someone from Columbia Sailing from South Carolina, Elaine Parshall, who's a really excellent sailor who had to retire from his third race. I'm not sure why she had to retire, but she started off strong with the first race, eighth place. Now, for those who don't know about the Sunfish classes and their age brackets, there's four or maybe even five different age brackets. But in this regard, it is gonna be four represented. I already mentioned Ron McHenry as the great grandmaster in first place, and he's somewhere in the middle of the pack. There's also the apprentice master, who would be from 40 to 49. There's the master, who is from 50 to 59. The great grandmaster, who is from 60 to 69. And the great, great grandmaster, who is 70 and above. Like I said, Ron McHenry is the great grandmaster in first place. There's a lot of sailing. Then the grandmasters, let's go over them first. So the grandmasters are from 61 to 70 years old. A lot of these sailors are excellent sailors. And we have a really tight battle in the top three. We have Jim Nab of Rehoboth Sailing Association in Delaware battling out and is one place away from Gail Hausler of Davis Island Yacht Club in Tampa. And Rich Chapman is crushing the Grandmasters, and he's tied for second place overall, and he is a first Grandmaster. Then the Apprentice Masters, we have Andy Beekman from Newport Harbor Yacht Club, and he finished the last two races with an eighth and an eighth, so he's really in the mix of it. And 
when he has a throw out, he's really going to be in the mix with it. And he's in second place behind Eugene Schmidt, who won the International Masters Sunfish Championship last year in 2021 when it was held at Davis Island Yacht Club. And Eugene is settling in in fourth overall, tied for fourth with Dan Norton. The, uh, the Apprentice Masters are the Young Masters at 40 to 49 years old. And the next age category is the Masters. The Masters are from 50 to 59 years old. And it's a really strong fleet in the Masters. So in fourth place, we have multiple class champion Mike Ingham, one point behind Dan Norton. Mike Ingham comes from Rochester, New York, and he made a little bit of a winter home down the Sarasota Sailing Squadron. So he's been helping out those guys down there, and I'm sure the level of sailing has increased exponentially since he's been down there. Like I said, Dan Norton is one point ahead of Mike Ingham, and Dan Norton's from Devil Lake Yacht Club. He's third place in the Masters division and fifth overall in the whole regatta. In second place, tied with Great Grandmaster, and then second place tied with Great Grandmaster overall Rich Chapman is Doug Kalkinen. Doug Kalkinen is a fantastic sailor. He's a past North American champion in the Sunfish class. He's a great thistle sailor and he hails from Rochester Canoe Club in New York. Rich Chapman and Delka Kynan are tied for second, only one point away from the top spot. And the top spot belongs to New York sailor from hailing from Sayville Yacht Club. That's Paul John Patton, former world champion, and he is sailing a fantastic regatta. He hasn't even won a race yet, but he's finished with a 2-3-2 line, and he's one point ahead of Rich Chapman and Doug Kokainen. So it's going to be a real, real battle at the top and in the middle and in the four different age categories. So this is going to be a really interesting regatta with everything going on. Who's going to be battling who? Who's going to be the top spot? Who's going to be winning the middle battles? So it's really going to be a good regatta. As the week goes on, the weather's going to get warmer. The winds might get a little lighter and we'll see what happens. I'm going to show you what happened. So I'm going to show you how it happened with the little picture from Emily Wagner. She posted on the U.S. Sunfish class page on Facebook. Here we go. You can see this mass that's separated in two and it broke right at the screwed in cleats. And I made a video about how to mount a cleat without screwing them in. And I think that's actually going to be the way to go. So if you're interested in knowing how to get a mass cleat without screwing it in, check out the video right here here check out that video right here stay tuned thanks don't forget to smash the like button check out the video and i'll see you on the water